Hello everyone, Damian Ruffner here from Audubon, Pennsylvania and the Discovery Center right here in Philadelphia to welcome you back to another one of our Flying High Adventure series. Each one of you watching this video has something very unique in common. All of you live within a watershed. Whether you're in the middle of Philadelphia, in a city across Pennsylvania, or anywhere else in the world, every piece of land belongs inside a watershed. Today we're going to be talking about what is a watershed, why is it important that we have a healthy watershed, and we're going to be taking a deep dive into the Delaware River watershed, something very important here in eastern Pennsylvania. Well, let's think. Every time it rains or snows, the water has to go somewhere, right? A watershed is the area of land that feeds its rainwater to a particular stream, creek, or river. Water from rain and snow travels over our city streets and buildings as well as through our parks and forests that eventually all ends up inside a waterway. All the places where people, animals, and plants live in the land is part of a watershed. Your home, your school, even your playground is inside a watershed. We have an idea of what a watershed is and what one looks like. Let's ask ourselves, why is it important that we keep our water system healthy? The general answer to these questions is pretty simple. Keeping our watersheds healthy is definitely very important to both people and birds. People, birds, and all other wildlife all need access to clean water to survive. Just like people, birds need clean drinking water to stay healthy. We want to be sure that what gets washed off of farms, factories, and parking lots throughout the watershed stays out of our drinking water. Birds like the belted kingfisher are found along large streams and rivers where they look for fish to eat. Birds like the ruddy duck live on lakes and rivers where they look for aquatic plants and invertebrates to eat. And birds like the Louisiana water thrush live around cool, shady streams and swamps where they feed on many different types of insects. And just like people, birds need a place to call home. Some birds, like bald eagles, build nests in tall trees near lakes and rivers, while others, like the salt marsh sparrow, build their nests on tall marsh grasses, growing in places where the rivers meet the ocean, like a bay or estuary. Keeping water systems clean is vital to all life. Birds may lose important sources of food, water, and shelter, and people may experience more washed out streams, community flooding, and more polluted water. Now that we know a little bit about what a watershed is and why it's important to keep them healthy, let's take a look at the Delaware River water. Now we're going to explore a very special river and watershed. The Delaware River is 330 miles long and its watershed covers parts of four states, New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Delaware. The watershed covers about 13,500 square miles across those states. Wow. Let's think about just how big that is. Ask a parent or guardian how many miles away is your school or park. You're probably pretty close. Now think about how big 13,000 square miles is. The Delaware River watershed stretches across a lot of land. Is your city, town, or county inside this highlighted map? If so, then you live inside the Delaware River watershed. Where does the watershed start? Where does it end? And what happens in between? The upper watershed is known as the headwaters and is covered in forests. Forests are important to the watershed because they give homes to birds and filter out our drinking water, and it keeps it clean for free. The water flows south. Larger tributaries, which can be rivers like the Lehigh or Schuylkill, and small streams like the Cobbs Creek and the Wissahickon join up with the Delaware River. Storm water, or the water that washes into streams from rainstorms, can carry pollution from these areas into our rivers and streams. Eventually, the Delaware River flows into the Delaware Bay and then out into the Atlantic Ocean. At the end of the watershed, another important place, a salt marsh, also helps humans and birds by providing them places to live, eat, and reproduce. The marshes of the Delaware Bay protect our communities from storms and flooding as well. The Delaware River watershed is very important for several reasons. One of the biggest reasons is its supply of clean drinking water for 13.3 million people. Another reason is is important is for migrating birds. Every year, places like Fairmont Park in Philadelphia, the Kittatinny Ridge, or even your backyard serve as a stopover site, kind of like a rest stop and motel for migrating birds. The watershed giving food and shelter to tens of millions of birds while they travel between their winter and summer homes. Remove trash from streets and from bodies of water if the conditions are safe. Never putting soap, chemicals, or dog waste into stormwater drains, and by walking or riding your bike instead of driving to nearby destinations such as your local park.
Thanks for joining me, everyone. We hope you enjoyed this video about our introduction to the Delaware River watershed. Let Audubon, Pennsylvania know how you take care of the watershed in the comments below.